David Taubham is a top flu researcher who says the novel H1N1 influenza, formerly called the swine flu, demands our attention. Anytime a new pathogen gets introduced to the human population, um, it's going to have an enhanced ability to spread from person to person and establish itself in that, in that population, and that's what these viruses do. And spread it will. Fellow flu colleague John Trainer says most of us haven't been exposed to the H1 part of this novel virus. In the absence of an effective vaccine for the novel virus, we would see very high rates of infection, rather than the usual, which is that maybe 10% of people during a normal flu season might catch the flu. You might see 40% of people during the flu season with the novel virus catch the flu. Over the summer, infection rates slowed, but they could rev up again soon. We might see the flu season this year starting when schools start in September. Earlier than usual flu season uh, corresponding with the start of the school year. Schools present a unique situation, close quarters and young people who seem more susceptible to the virus. It's unusual in that it's made the young adults who are typically fairly resistant to influenza, it's made them, made them relatively ill. Older folks who are typically at risk for seasonal flu seem to have some resistance to the new type. There is a great deal of immunity in most uh, adults. Uh, we're trying to understand what that immunity actually is. Uh, it seems to be variable depending on age. One question has people worried. Will this new flu get more deadly? Well, the question isn't really when. Um, it, we don't know if it will ever uh, mutate into a more deadly form. It could just as easily mutate into a less uh, deadly form. Either way, it has already added a new chapter in the book of flu history. With a look at your health, Christy Runyon, ABC 36 News.